What's up you guys? Reagan and I are having a little girls day at, where are we? Target. Target. We're gonna get some groceries. We're not gonna get any toys because who brings the toys soon? Santa. Santa. All right, we are home. We were there for, Banner, how long were we gone? Hour and a half, two hours? Two hours. Two hours because little Miss Reagan, I made the mistake, she was so good up until we got to where like the wrapping paper was because I needed some wrapping paper and lo and behold the kitchen that she'd been pointing at in the Target magazine was right there. I was like oh no and she's like hey mommy let's go down this aisle. I'm like I know I already see it and so she went and saw that and I was like we can take a picture of it or view with it and yeah that was my way of getting out of it but that was like the majority of the trip was like you don't need that but um Hi Regs, you looking at me talking about you? <laughs> I wanted to take a second and highlight my new bracelets that you probably noticed me wearing recently. These are from Little Words Project and they're actually sponsoring today's video which is so kind of them. These are affirmation bracelets and the founder of Little Words Project started it after years of bullying. She wanted some daily affirmations on her wrist and I actually chose these affirmations very intentionally. So I have strong resilience, keep going, and mama. The mama one actually comes with the mini, so me and Reagan match, which I love. And then I chose strong in support of St. Jude. Proceeds from this bracelet go towards the St. Jude Foundation. I chose resilience because I feel like that represents represents my life as a military spouse and as a military family and then keep going because I just have to look down at my wrist and remind myself in those low moments just keep going keep pushing through and I will get on the other side of it so those are the bracelets that I chose again thank you so much to Little Words Project for sending these bracelets I'm obsessed with them they are so pretty and add so much beautiful color to my wardrobe each bracelet comes with a little tag on the back of them and you can register your bracelet see other people people that have the same bracelet like you which is really cool to see how others are using their affirmations so if you want to check out little words project for yourself you can use my code Sarah and banner and it'll get you 15% off and free shipping so I'll leave the link down below but she did get to use her piggy bank money that I had in my wallet and buy a register I know but remember what we said share with your brother right so that was our one compromise because I had been looking at that to get her um, and it was only like 30 bucks and she had $20 from her piggy bank so I was like okay you're gonna buy this I explained to her this is from your piggy bank you're gonna hand it to the cashier and this is how it goes so that was kind of fun to like have her do that for the first time and then this is the other random things that she needed she needed new sheets because I think the sheets she has are making her like sweaty at night so we're gonna try these with the unicorns and the rainbows then she needed a pair of boots since it's fall time even though it's 73 degrees outside. So these are really cute and these are the ones that she picked out. I'm all into letting her decide what she likes as much as I want to control what she wears. I'm not going to so she picked out these cute little floral boots to wear. And then over here to the grocery haul we just got some random things since we're going to be going on a road trip soon. So we got our cheese. Bunch of different yogurts. This one was an impulse. Reagan wanted these and I was like, these are my childhood, the double color yogurts. So even if the kids won't eat them, I know I will end up eating them as well. We got a lot of different popcorn type puff things. So on a big popcorn kick at night, which has been fun. The skinny pop is really good. The typical pirate's booty. And then she would not let it go that she wanted the cheetah snack. So we got these. And then a bunch of snacks for the road as well. These were an impulse. I'm gonna be a fun mom and let her get these. Little bluey gummies, snack mix, granola bars, peanut butter crackers. And then these were a new thing. We usually get the normal Annie's mac and cheese, but I saw these and they have added pea protein. So 15 grams of protein, which is really cool that that's like in there. So we're gonna see if it tastes any different to the kids. I'll keep y'all posted. And then two different kinds of peanut butter because Banner has to have his non-natural. I don't know, I don't understand it, but ask and I will deliver. Um, and then bread for sandwiches, lots and lots of fruit, two things of eggs. 
Ross's more non-grocery banners protein. I saw this Clorox disinfecting mist on Instagram and I'm really excited because I'm just going to use this to disinfect the kids toys at night especially with all the sickness going around and honestly like our door handles and everything you can just spray it and leave it so it seems really convenient to have and it's free and clear of fragrances and dyes so it's like all safe for kids playroom toys pet areas food contact surfaces so really excited to use that and then I needed some refills on some bronzer and I saw this and I just thought I would try it I usually get the Anastasia but this was a lot cheaper so we're gonna see how that works and toothbrushes for the children and that is our little target haul what do you think awesome you guys banners not eating food for 82 hours how many 86. 86 hours you saw Dana white talking about it it's supposed to be really good for your body so you got this boo you're doing good he's just drinking water I could never I would be hangry and miserable but He's a lot stronger than I am. <laughs> Update on Minner's 86 hour fast. We both decided he should probably not go that long without eating because we have a very big week ahead. So he did end up making it 48 hours, which is still so impressive. And then we were like, yeah, we have to do a really long drive and do all the house stuff. So maybe we don't go 86 hours without eating. Still very proud of him. That's still way more than I could do. And I'm sure there's still good benefits to that. But here I am putting away the groceries. And why does putting away the groceries always end up with me doing an impromptu clean out of the refrigerator? What you got there, big guy? A tree. A tree. Chris Kringle himself. What, I'm not funny? Which one's Chris Kringle? I don't know, isn't that supposed to be Santa? No, I don't know. I really don't know the difference of all of these things. That's the top of the tree. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I was like, wow, that's, I, guess, I was like, that's really skinny. Like, dang. It's like she wanted it skinny. I knew that was in the back of my mind. <laughs> well, we could just put that up, make it mini. Oh yeah, that's good. See? Yeah, that's definitely smaller than our other one. It fits the area better. Is that the bottom of the tree? Just make sure they all fit. Good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now is this one gonna be massive? <laughs> I'm like dang. It's exactly like the tree we threw away. <laughs> but the other tree's lights weren't working, so found it. It's the <laughs> oh my gosh. Who needs instructions? <laughs> Not you. Trial and error. Yeah, let's go. I think there's another one in there. <laughs> Slightly bigger. There's all of that where it should have been. Iron time. You see these uh, little letters right here? Yeah. B, C, oh. A. I thought they were trying to teach me an alphabet. Like, <laughs> Gosh. Oh, yep. To the tippy top there, Banner. Perfect. Just the way I like it. I just feel like you gotta have a tree. <laughs> so, that's what Dad did. He went and cut down the tree. Look, I went to the North Pole. <laughs> Rummaged through the woods and found the perfect one. Carried it back in the snow. It was a long, treacherous journey. <laughs> I think for your wilderness qualified. Not any type of qualified, just dad qualified. I'm thinking about getting you some new balances. Yeah, you think? Yeah. We're ready for that? Yeah. You're a dad of three now. It's necessary. I just, you know, it's a big step in my career as a dad. Like, yeah, no going you, back after that. You get the new balances, you're kind of secured in, you know? Yeah. The kids, no. The shoes, yes. 
That's what got me. <laughs> How do you feel being the star of that whole segment there? Good. Just on you. Sometimes you need to be a star. I, you know I'm not really actually doing it. I know, anything. thousand percent. <laughs> I'm trying to do it with one hand. I know I'm not the only one that has a room that looks like this. This is our guest room and we don't have a garage. So this becomes a catch-all space for all the extra things that I don't know where to put. So lots of laundry that needed to be folded, lots of boxes that are holding Christmas presents. And then this is our closet in here that holds the toys that the kids aren't using. And they definitely got into this closet. So I was trying to clean up what they'd gotten out and then I couldn't close it. Turns out my pregnancy pillow was messing with it. So, you know, here I I am doing this instead of folding the laundry right away because if this is closed I don't see all the mess and it just makes my head feel a little more clear but now here I am folding all of the laundry I can't wait to have an actual laundry room in our new house it's still not the best laundry room but we are gonna do like a collapsible table in there um, to have more folding space so I can't wait to show you guys all of that coming soon but so much laundry. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down boxes was a mixture of Christmas presents and then things that I ordered that I needed to give the kids right away so I'm peeking in trying to find the things that I needed and thankfully I found it here's some pajamas I'm actually giving those to trip for Christmas and then the kids needed new jackets these are from children's place I did order Reagan some long sleeve dresses because she's an only dress girl right now and it's cold outside so we needed some long sleeves this is one of the gifts that I got him I also got trip some tennis balls to put in a stocking I don't know it was $1.99 and yeah that's what was in those boxes and here Here's Tripp's jacket and then we got a snow globe little PR package and I decided it would be so cute to put that out to surprise the kids in the morning so here are all the things and then I'm setting it up but that's it for today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one mm -hmm.